All right, this video is going to take you through the FEDE equals FRDR equation for several different machines. We're going to start out with one you're familiar with, the incline plane. But before we even start applying numbers, let's get our parts labeled on our incline plane. All right, so pictures definitely help. Draw the person in there, draw the object that's getting moved, and then we need to figure out what are our parts. All right, so remember the E's relate to the person. The person is going to apply some sort of force. That is your FE. All right, and it's going to apply that force. What would make sense? They walk along the ramp, so their distance is the length of the ramp. All right. Now, your FR and DR come from the object. The object's going to have some sort of weight in newtons. That is your FR. And then it's also going to have the ramp will have a height, which will be your DR. Okay? So let's apply this to a problem. So, how long must an incline plane be? that can lift a 500 newton piano. I can't draw a piano, so we're just gonna draw a box. So there's our 500 newton piano. Two meters in the air, so that's gonna be the height of our ramp. If you apply, here's U, 80 newtons of force along the ramp, okay? Our question mark is our length of the ramp. So that means Fe equals 80 newtons DE equals question mark, FR equals 500 newtons, and DR equals 2 meters. Okay, so if we plug that in, you're going to get 80 times DE equals 500 times 2 to get DE by itself, divide by 80. So you're going to have DE equals 1,000 divided by 80, which simplifies to 12.5. And since it's DE, your units will be meters. Okay. The next type of machine is a lever. So this lever actually has some distances labeled on it, but we're still going to record where all of our parts are. So remember, the E's relate to what you do. So you're going to push down on the lever, and you're going to apply some sort of force. That force is your FE. And your lever is going to go down some sort of distance. That is your DE. Now when you do that, that's going to cause the lever to go up a distance, that is your DR, and it's going to lift up an object that has a weight, and that is your FR. Okay, so let's apply this to the problem. So, it says if your muscle strength allows you to push with a force of 100 newtons, so you can push down with 100 newtons, what is the maximum weight you can lift? So our weight is a question. All right, and then the distances are written on there for us. Remember, distance you move is DE, distance the lever moves is DR. Okay, so FE equals 100 newtons, DE equals 2 meters, FR is our question mark, and DR equals 1 meter. So if we plug that in, you'll have 100 times 2 equals 1 times FR. Now, 1 times anything is whatever it is. So this, you don't even have to worry about being there because it's a 1. So you end up having FR is equal to 100 times a 2, or FR is equal to 200, and since we're Dealing with a force, your units are newtons. Okay. All right. So the next type of problem is a wheel and axle. 
So starting out with just labeling our parts, a wheel and axle looks like this. You're gonna have a wheel that's attached to a tube, which is called an axle. And the wheel, when it turns, turns the axle. So you're, you're gonna be over here, okay? And you're gonna be turning the wheel. And the force that you apply is your Fe. And the distance that you're going to do is actually related to the circumference of the wheel, because you're going to turn it in a circle. So the circumference is your DE. Okay. Now what's happening with the machine is this axle is going to be attached to some sort of mass. Okay, and that mass will have a weight. So that's going to be your FR. And then the axle itself is also going to have a circumference. And that circumference is your DR. Okay, so let's apply this to our problem here. So we're gonna redraw that for the problem. We're gonna draw a little smaller so we have room for work. Okay, so here's you, there's our axle that is lifting some sort of mass. So calculate the effort force needed to raise a 600 Newton weight using a wheel. So the wheel is 0 0.3 meters in circumference and an axle which is, has a circumference of 0 0.06 meters. All right. So Fe our effort force is what the problem is asking for, so we don't know that. But our DE is the circumference of the wheel, so that's 0 0.3 meters. Our FR is the weight of what's being lifted, so 600 newtons. And our DR is the radius of the axle, which is 0 0.06 meters. So we're going to have FE times 0 0.3 equals 600 times 0 0.06. All right. Then to get Fe by itself, you divide by 0 0.3, divide by 0 0.3, and this simplifies to 120. So your Fe equals 120, and your units should be newtons. Now, one last type of machine. We're gonna talk about the screw today. All right, so before we start applying it to the problem, a screw looks kind of like this, and then it has threads that go around. All right, so a screw is gonna have a height, and it's also going to have a thread length, okay? You are going to be, do you push down on the screw or do you turn the screw? Hopefully you're saying you turn the screw, which means the distance you actually end up causing to happen is the thread distance. So that's your DE. Whereas the screw actually, as you turn the threads, the screw pulls it into the wood or whatever you're trying to get it into until you reach the end of the screw. So the length of the screw is your DR. Okay, now you're going to be able to turn the screwdriver with some sort of force, so that's your Fe. And then if this screw is going into like a piece of wood, it kind of has to apply a force to the wood in order to break through it. So the screw is going to apply a force to the wood, and that is your Fr. All right. So now that you know your pieces, let's set this up for so here is our screw. Okay, so a screw has threads that are a meter long. So the threads are 1.0 meters. And the screw itself 
is 0.02 meters. Okay, then here's U. You apply a force of 6 newtons to turn the screw. Then how much force does the screw apply to the wood? Okay, so we know Fe is 6 newtons because that's what you're doing. DE, the distance you actually cause the screw to go through, is 1 meter. So you're turning it through the threads. FR is our unknown. And DR is the length of the screw, so how far it can actually get into the wood. And that's 0 0.2 meters, 0 0.02 meters. So you're going to have 6 times 1 equals FR times 0 0.02. To get FR by itself, you divide by the 0 0.02. Okay. Now 6 times 1 is 6. So 6 divided by 0 0.2 is 300. So your FR is 300 newtons. Okay. If this stuff isn't quite sinking in, watch the video a couple of times. All right. Big thing is knowing what force and distance you are causing, that is the FEDE side of the equation, and then knowing what force and distance the machine is doing, that's the FRDR side of the equation. So make sure that you complete your assignment by tomorrow morning at 7.20 a.m. I will see you in class.